earlier today, New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy sat down with Yahoo Finance and really talked about everything from the state's reopening efforts to vaccine distribution challenges. Let's listen to what he had to say. Um, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, there's certainly a lot to get through to, but I'd love to get uh, start by talking about where things stand on the pandemic. Uh, we've had a number of states that have now eased restrictions uh, across the country over the last several weeks. Nearby, you've got Connecticut now going to 100% capacity for restaurants, gyms, and churches starting next week. Uh, where do things stand in, stand in New Jersey, and how comfortable are you in following Connecticut's lead? Yeah, we are. Uh, we will open up things further without question. The only question is when and how much. We have to do it responsibly. Uh, and, and we've had a great working relationship with Connecticut, New York, Pennsylvania, other of our neighbors. But that doesn't mean we do everything in lockstep together. So um, and it, we're, we're looking at this and looking at the numbers in our state. Today happens to be a, a day where the numbers went the wrong direction, whether it's a one day blip, uh, whether it's indicative of a trend too early to tell, but there's no question between the epidemiological curve cresting and coming down, hopefully warmer weather sooner than later, vaccines proliferating now, we're up almost over 2.6 million shots in the arm, folks continue to do the right smart stuff like face coverings, the combination of all that together, even in the face of these variants, will be opening up. The only question is at what date? how aggressively, how much, uh, but with this, no question we'll get there. Governor, there was so much made about the coordination, the close coordination you had with your neighboring states. Uh, you work closely with New York, um, as well as Connecticut, sort of the tri-state area early on in the pandemic. Um, how closely are you coordinating these reopenings right now with the other states? Thematically, we still work very closely uh, with our neighbors. Uh, and, and that includes, depending on the particular issue at hand, literally our neighbors, New York, Pennsylvania, Delaware, or a broader group, and it certainly includes Connecticut. Thematically, uh, we're still very much uh, in, in, in sync with each other. Uh, and our teams speak all the time. Uh, the, our, our chief of staff had a conversation with another nearby chief of staff literally this morning on this very topic. But, but from day one, it has never meant that we moved in lockstep necessarily uh, with, with each other. But we have thematically, I think, been quite uh, quite in harmony every step of the way and will continue to be. Governor Angela here. I, I wonder about the CDC's uh, you know, new mandate or guidance rather on vaccinated individuals and you know how people can start to gather. I know that um, at the state level, you've done a good job of really calling out people who are going against guidance. Uh, have you thought about what the new rules will mean and, and how strictly you're going to clamp down on, on mass gatherings? Good to see you, Angela. We miss you in the, in the, on the Jersey beat. Um, yeah, we are, uh, our, our health team, uh, led by our great commissioner, Judy Persichelli, and her, her medical experts have been looking at the CDC guidance since yesterday morning. Uh, it's pretty clear we'll be following that guidance uh, within one, you know, at least to some degree. We have been pretty much uh, adherent to the CDC guidance from day one. Um, so, uh, you know, we're one of the states that has basically uh, been in sync with them, and I suspect you'll see us in sync here. I just spoke to somebody a few minutes ago who's been vaccinated and can't wait for the opportunity to see their grandkids. I mean, the, the mental health strain, particularly on our seniors, has been overwhelming. So the extent to which we can do that responsibly, uh, I promise you we'll do it without taking undue risk uh, uh, at the same time. And what about uh, the idea of vaccine appointments? I know that that's something that nationally we're struggling with, but in the state, have you looked at the lower tech op options that the federal government is trying to implement, whether it's you know phone calls and outreach or, or going specifically into neighborhoods? So what is the state thinking of more broadly when it comes to the general public? Yeah, I think all of the above, Angeli. Uh, so we've had a website from moment one in, on December 15th, if not before December 15th, we had some real vendor issues, I believe. I'm knocking on wood. Most of that's behind us. We made the decision a couple of weeks later, particularly for our seniors, to open up a call center. That's also had some maturing issues, but that's now many hundreds of folks able to take a call, make an appointment in multiple languages. And in particular, with the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, 
We're going to be, you know, we, we started our mobile efforts on Saturday. We're now going to be able to take the vaccine to people, hard to reach, homebound, maybe senior uh, housing where it's not easy to, to get from there to a vaccination center. We've got about 500 distribution points for the vaccine in the state. We still need more federal supply. Uh, I think March will continue to see an increase, but not a quantum increase. I think the end of this month, early April, that number goes up dramatically, and that allows us to do all of the above, uh, much more aggressively online, through the phones, through mobile and other outreach houses of worship. Right after I speak with you today, I'm headed to a Catholic church in Patterson to see yet another house uh, of worship and how they're vaccinating their community. We're going to see a lot more of that over the next couple of months. Governor Murphy, appreciate your time today. Uh, great to talk to you. Thank you all for having me.